fires can occur at any time. If you fall victim to it, you might sustain burn wounds, suffer smoke inhalation, or worse. It is also important not to underestimate the dangers of smoke inhalation. Ensure your heater is in good working order and that its cords and other components are not damaged. If you're using a gas heater, inspect it to ensure that there are no leaks. Leaking gas is extremely dangerous and may result in an explosion. Ensure you leave a small window open for adequate ventilation. Do not place any items on or near the heater to dry them. Do not leave the heater on overnight. Do not leave a candle burning if you go to bed or if you intend to leave the property. Candles should not be placed next to curtains or anything flammable. Never leave children unattended near a lit candle or any fire. Make sure matches and lighters are well out of reach of children. Ensure plugs are not overloaded or damaged. Before using an electric blanket, make sure there is no mold or that it is not torn. Also, check there is no visible damage to the electric cable or burn marks on the blanket. Keep flammable items away. Ensure you extinguish the fire before going to bed or leaving home. Keep a small extinguisher near the fireplace and ensure everyone knows how to use it. Ensure you make the fire small enough to be able to control it. People with extensive burn wounds need to be transported to hospital as soon as possible. Emergency services should be contacted immediately. For minor burns, run clean, cool tap water over the burn for at least 10 to 20 minutes. A person that has suffered severe smoke inhalation will often present with one or more of the following symptoms. Coughing, labored breathing, headaches, skin changes, decreased alertness, chest pain, or soot in and around the nose and mouth. Carbon monoxide poisoning is silent and often goes undetected until the person is overcome by the gas. When operating heaters using LPG gas or making fires in an enclosed space, it is crucial to ensure there is proper ventilation of the area. Always ensure you have an escape plan. Ensure all members of the family know what to do and where to go in case of a fire at home. Try and get to a place of safety as soon as possible. Stay low and crawl to an exit to avoid being overcome by the heat and smoke. You can always cover your mouth and nose with a moist cloth if you are able to do so. This will help reduce smoke inhalation. Call emergency services as soon as possible.